All right, the band went to Collierville this weekend and performed and did a fantastic job. The drum line came in first in y'all's uh, category, and I'm sitting here with three drummers, and they are Destiny, Destiny, and Madison, and Talia. All right, now, uh, Destiny, what do you play in the drum line? I play snare drum. Snare drum, Madison. Bass drum. Bass one. Bass one. And? <laughs> Bass four. Bass four. Okay, now, they are all in the battery. We have also a pretty large, y'all have a pretty large front ensemble. Yes. So explain to the, the school about the front ensemble what that is. Um, it's all of our racks and all of our keyboards. Racks and keyboards. Okay, it's all of the people on the front sideline with the mallets playing all of the stuff down there. Yes. Okay, now tell us, a little, give us a little bit of insight on y'all's rehearsal. Like in the summer, um, the battery, do y'all split off and have separate rehearsals from front ensemble? How does it work? Um, we have one week where it's just percussion and then we are split into two different sections with front ensemble and battery and we have two different rooms for that okay who does the instruction when y'all are split like that how do how do y'all have a band director instructor how does it work um well either mr p's with one group and then the section leaders run the group he's not with okay so he trades off back and forth all right tell us a little bit about the collierville day and how it went down like what time did y'all get up to the school what time did y'all get to Collierville when did you perform all the details so garden percussion got to the school at 11 30 and the winds got to the school at 12 and as soon as we got there at 12 um we all went to the football field practiced till like 1 30 loaded our stuff left and then when we got there we kind of just chilled out then we warmed up and then we had some rain malfunction and then we performed and then we just got rain on some more you're telling me that sir shelby king did not let y'all just go to the competition he insisted on an hour run through before y'all left for the competition oh yeah we did like two full runs and then he tweaked some stuff yelled at us a little bit and then I was just going to say, did he yell? Did he get a little hot under the collar? Did he bring up his, we're about to be judged? Yeah. All that. All that. Um, okay. Tell us about the performance itself. Um, the performance, it went good. It was, it was good, you know. It was the first performance, and it was nice. I can tell we have a real talker over there on bass drum four. Tell us about the performance itself, Madison. Um, it was really good. Even though we had a lot of rain, we still did really well. It was no tears and nothing like that. Now, there are students in the building who don't understand why the band doesn't just march out in the rain. Could you give some insights to the student body about the woodwinds and the damage that rain can do to some of the instruments? So our electronics, it can like ruin them very bad. They cost a lot of money. And then the woodwinds, they can't get wet. The drums can't get wet either because they're made out of wood and it will like, they'll mold and stuff. So they can't get wet. Right. The wooden instruments, if they get moisture in them, it can affect the tonality of the instrument and they can warp and then it can damage it. And just to give you an idea, some of these woodwind instruments can be upwards two, three, four thousand dollars a piece. So it's a lot of money tied up into all of that. Yeah, it is. All right. Um, how much time does it typically take y'all to break down and pack up everything? Because y'all have a lot of stuff that you have to travel with. Um, well, battery, it takes us about like 20 minutes. Cause we have to get out the way because we're like the first people to go on the trailer. But like front, it took them forever. Not going to lie. And then woodwinds, they have to like, they carry their own stuff. So it doesn't take that long. But brass, they have to put it in a trailer. That takes about like 30 minutes in itself. And then I'm assuming you pulled a tractor trailer for Sir Shelby King's sunshine that he created that's bigger than this room that we're sitting in right now. Yes, they had to get a Penske truck just to carry all of our stuff and two trailers. Now, uh, what do we have coming up this weekend? Because typically, once marching season, competition season starts, y'all are full throttle for 
the course of a month. What what else do you have coming up? Um, nothing this weekend, but next weekend I think it's Grenada. Yeah, Grenada, and then we have another competition back to back for the next couple of weekends after that. Now, is Grenada going to be your state scores? Uh, yeah, this lets us know if we can go to a state competition. Right, so Granada. Uh, what will you be working on this week? Is the show fully finished? Are y'all just going to be cleaning at this point, or are you still putting a, a last movement together? We're putting on the fourth movement, and we're going to do, like, I think half of the fourth movement at Grenada, and then we're going to put on the rest for the rest of the competitions. Okay, wonderful. We're looking forward to seeing everything that the band is doing. Hopefully, y'all get to perform <laughs> at the next home game. There's been a lot of rain this season. Have you noticed that? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's been very little performance out of the band because we've had several home games with rain, which, because of the rain, y'all are not able to play. So we're looking forward to a couple of home games in the coming weeks where we can see the band's full show in full uniform, which is the way it's meant to be seen. What's y'all's rehearsal schedule like uh, for the coming weeks? Um, so on Mondays and Thursdays, it's 3 to 5, which kind of goes into class time, so it's technically like 1.30 to 5. And then on Tuesdays, we do class, we go home, and then come back at 6 p.m. and go to 8 p.m. A lot of uh, commitment there to be in the band. A lot. So much. Okay, so the band has been doing something different this year, which we got we put some video on EVTV of, actually. Y'all are walking in, or marching in, I should say, to the stadium with a cadence. Tell us about that. Um, our new director, Mr. P, he gave us Street Beat 1 and 3, and now the battery marches at into the stadium, and the band marches behind us. Okay, and y'all are playing a cadence. What was the name of it? Street Beat 3 and 1. Street Beat 3 and 1. Now, how long did it take y'all to learn the cadence? Um, not very long. We had to memorize it very fast. Well, if y'all haven't had a chance to see the band's show, you should definitely come out to one of the games and check it out. Also, we have uh, the performance um, listed on our YouTube channel, so you can definitely check that out. And after this interview, we're going to actually show you part of the performance on today's episode. Check it out.